first thing I want to do is to highlight that and drag that along to there. The next thing is to put my cursor there, double click on the sigma, one, two, and add up that. I could make that bold as well. Then I'd like to put my cursor there, double click on the sigma, make that bold, and now I could do all of those and drag those along to there. Now these accounts are not dynamic so I'd like to go to here and take income minus expenditure. So I'll go equals that one minus that one. Press enter and there's the result. I could drag that along. Okay but again it's not dynamic. What I need to do is to transfer that up to there. I do that by typing in equal up there and clicking down there. When I do that, that goes up to there. But because I started here and added that, it hasn't included that in. So I'm going to delete that and go up to Sigma again. One, two. Now it's added it all in. So I go to there and drag that along like so. OK, so now it's dynamic. Now, what I haven't found is that I'm earning any money on this. So I'm going to click here, go up to the FX and look for IF. There it is in the most recently used. OK. Here's an IF statement. And what the statement says is if that is greater than zero, then that times that absolute, if not zero. I'll OK that. And there's the amount, and I'll drag that along. OK, now I want to add this, this up here. So I'm going to go to there and insert a row. Now I shall go to February, type equal, and then click down to there. and press enter. Now this time the amount has been added in because it's in the middle of a row. I want to click onto there and drag that along to there. OK, so that's all been added in once I click off. But the trouble with all of this is that It needs to be formatted, so I'm going to format all of these cells, insert, cells, and format for currency. That means take out decimal places, take away the pound sun sign, and then click down to there. OK to that. OK, now I want to go to here and insert a row. And now at this point I want to type it, now let's go back up to there and put Bay Bank Interest. So that's showing where I've put in Bank Interest there, that's fine. Let's go down to here and I want to type in Holiday. I'm going on an expensive holiday 
it's going to cost £3,500. Now, when I press that there, this goes into negative quality, quantity. Now, at that point, the bank charges me money. So what I'm going to do is to do another if statement. I go up here to the function, click on to if, and then say, if that is less than shift comma is less than zero then that times seven percent which is what the bank is charging us absolute F4 and here zero and I'm going to put a minus on there in order to make it positive when it comes into the expenditure account. So of course there it is, I'm only paying 47 for one month so I'm going to go to here, insert a row, write bank charges click here and write equal and then click down there. OK, now I can drag this along and we can see the 47 is added into there. OK, now I want to start checking out. What I want to find is that that cell there is the same as that cell there. If it is then my accounts are right. I go to there and I add up. One, two. Then I drag that down to there. Now I come to here and add up all of those by going back to the sigma. One. Now this time I come down to here. I add up. Drag this down to there. Now I add up all of these and press the sigma. OK. Now, I'm going to go equals that minus that. If these two are the same, then my accounts are right. There you are. That is how to do a set of accounts. Thank you.